Knocked down at first. Unassisted foot out at first base. the count. There's a strike. Calvin Castine at Jay-Z Central Rural School. It's the 11th day of April 2019 and the season is finally underway. We're going to do as many. In oh, hit by that. Hit batter. That's, uh, well, let's see. I got the wrong lineup here. We'll come back and tell you who that was. I pay no attention to that ground here. We're really struggling here for <laughs> a swing and a miss. Sitting into the sun, that doesn't help us. But there's a strong breeze coming from our back. And uh, we're starting early. It's Shazy against the Griffins. This will be the last time this will be a merged team because starting next year, the Griffins will be one school district. But for the time being, it's the Elizabethtown Lewis School District and the Westport School District. There's a strike. Dufour Wozniki is pitching for the Eagles. Dead ball. They've advanced to the next batter, strike two. Let's see, the first batter was McClellan, then Lucas. Nope, that's the wrong team. <laughs> Strike three, that's the third out. Okay, so it was Cornwright, Berto, Brack, Hudson, and Schwobel just struck out. So five batters for the Elizabethtown Lewis Westport team. Cheesy coming to bat. We hopefully we'll have our Camera up and running here for the bottom of the first inning. All right, this is not the angle we prefer as far as covering these softball games, particularly when the sun is out. But as we started to say earlier, there's a breeze coming right at us. It's 46 degrees and probably dropping right now. And that breeze would be right in our face if we were shooting from the spot we normally shoot from. So we went for the option of comfort rather than uh, getting our best view. Lineup for Liz Guerin's team. Uh, McLennan will lead off, followed by Lucas, Moke, Stevens, Dufour, Rosnicki, LeMay, Pupor, Davis, and Bell. Non-starters are Taylor, Lazardi, and Smith. This is uh, McLennan leading off the bottom of the first. Takes a high one. Calling the balls and strikes is Jim Buda Garrett. Steve Parker is something on the bases. We have a couple of fine North Country officials. There's a strike. Sorry, George. That's all right. Heavy traffic area here. Uh, the pitcher is Birdo for the Griffins. That's high. And catcher is Brack. First base is Hudson. Second is Carlson. Short is Cornwright. Third is Buck. There's a shot up the middle. That's a base hit. A leadoff single here from McLennan. Bell is coaching at first. Uh, let's see. Now uh, he's going to bring up uh, Lucas. And he got as far as what? Uh, Buck at third. Uh, outfield left to right. Chandler. Schwobel and Westcott, and Cole is the only non-starter. Here's a stolen base attempt, and she's going to be in there with the steal. As I said, we're shooting into the sun, so it's far from ideal for us, but uh, we've got to do what we got to do. And, of course, we also are not going to be here that long. That's caught in center field, and no advance. One down. 
Because while this is going on, there's a boys game going on, baseball over that way. So we try to cover the first half of this and then the last half of the baseball. This is Mac, uh, Mo, excuse me. Any Moke. High fly ball, center field. And caught. Hoping I got <laughs> hoping I got the catch on the camera. Oh, we're looking right into that sun and uh it's a challenge. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, it's the center fielder that's Schwobel's gotten two put outs. Now Stevens, and we're gonna have a throw to third, and she is safe at third. So two outs, runner at third. Uh, we got uh, Stevens, Amelia Stevens, at the plate. Two down. That's low. Nice stop. Uh, the catcher uh, Brack. Obviously, the runner is able to score on a pass ball, so she stops another one. Right. Right. Two. So that makes it a full count. Foul ball. In the trees. In the trees. Look like a plinko. Price is right, bouncing in the trees over there. So, 3 2 count. Runner at third, two down. Bottom of the first in a scoreless game. Change up is low. Ball four. So, Stevens is on. Uh, before was Nikki, the pitcher. The runner at third, and they'll throw to second. It's in the dirt. This should get a run in. And first run of the game scores. And Stevens goes to third. 2-0 the count. as I said, uh, April 11th. No school tomorrow. The schools are starting their spring, what we call Easter vacation. Whoop, looking to catch some sleeping. She's going to be safe as the ball bounces off the glove. So run number two scores, ball goes out of play. And she'll get second. And LeMay will step in. Short stop. Sue, no school tomorrow, then uh, all the following week, all next week. This is Thursday, no school on Friday, all the following week. And most schools have the following Monday, Easter Monday off, in addition to the, uh, uh, have their jackets off when they're hitting, I guess. So their number is showing. So the book can keep track of who's up there. So what I'm saying is it's a two-weekend vacation here. Seven school days plus four weekend days. So that's a 11 days in a row. They'll be off from the 12th through the 22nd. Out on a bang-bang play to end the inning. So, two runs for the Eagles. They're one full. It's 2 nothing Shazy here on viewer-supported hometown cable. All right, we are now uh, up.
up to Chandler, the left fielder, leading off the uh, top of the second. The team down two nothing. Swing and a miss. So I'll make it a two one count. Strike call, strike three. So that's one down. And now the third baseman, Buck, at the plate. We didn't get first names on the score sheets, so we'll pass along what we have. Elizabeth Town, Lewis, Lions, and the Westport Eagles. You won't hear those names in the future. We You'll hear them, but uh, <laughs> they'll all be past tense. After several years of sharing uh, most of, the, but not all, of the sports teams, the schools have voted to merge. Oh, over the covering there. So that went from the first baseman, Bell, to Stevens. Second baseman, heads up, covering. So that's two down, and now Carlson, the second baseman, will step in. Two outs and nobody on. Two nothing to score. Ball one. We'll do two complete innings, and we'll check the status of the baseball game. We are fortunate with the baseball that they have the Mary Latchmore Memorial scoreboard. So we're able to walk over there, glance at the scoreboard, and know what inning we are in and what the score is. Ball three. Ball four. Oh, ball four. Okay. Uh, second baseman Carlson walks. And I'll bring up the right fielder Westcott at the top of the order on deck. Corn right on deck. So with a runner on in a two nothing game, it's tying run at the plate. With two outs here in the top half of the second inning. Off the plate. And we'll have a runner at second base. Ball four. So we'll put runners at first and second and bring up the top of the order with two down. This is the shortstop corn right. Potential go ahead run at the plate. That's in for a ball. So, uh, as I started to say earlier, this, these games have started early and I. Was made aware of it, but somehow I slipped, uh, slipped my mind and I didn't write down the, the early start times. So I arrived here expecting 4.30 starts instead of 4 o'clock starts. They started uh, a little after 4, but the baseball started before the softball. So we were able to get the start of the softball, and we like to get the softball first because, uh, as we said, we can show up. There's ball four, it's gonna load the bases. We can show up and uh, look at the clock, the score, cl scoreboard, and know, no, there's no clock in baseball. Uh, we can look at the board and know the score and the innings. So pitcher Berto has a chance to help her cause here. She steps up with two outs and the bag's full. Potential tying run at second. Go ahead, run on at first base here in the second inning. There's a strike. Or two.
Alberto took that fight, uh, in a way. Uh, this will be going on contact. High and away. Walks a run. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So, big strike out there for Duke for Wozniki. And we go to the bottom of the second inning. It's still 2 nothing. Shay Z here on viewer supported local television hometown cable. So the Eagles have a base runner to start the bottom of the second. That's uh, Pupor at first with the base hit. That's a foul ball, a bounce foul. So the catcher Davis is at the plate. That's way high. First baseman Bell on deck. Fouled. It looks like the breeze has slowed down. I don't feel any breeze in the back of my head right now, so I would probably be comfortable over on that side, but uh, this side puts me also closer to the baseball game and that scoreboard, so. I'm gonna get away. So, runner in scoring position with nobody out here in a second. Well, there's a well hit ball, best hit ball of the day so far. That's going to be at least three. We'll score run number three. And she will be held up at third with the triple. Whoa, and the ball rolls away. It's going to go out of play. It'll be a, a triple and. Extra base on the overthrow. So I'll make it 4 nothing. Shazy with nobody out here in the second. And Bell do up for the Eagles. Not only is this the... Uh, First game of the season is late as yesterday. They were rescheduling games because of the snow on the ground. So they have not spent much time, if any, outdoors. Nice diving catch by the catcher Brack. Nice, nice play. So Bell is out. And McLennan will step in. She's the third baseman. Olivia McLennan. Bags empty, one out. Four nothing to score. And they're ready at the plate. Let's hit sharply back to the pitcher over the first in time. Nice play. That'll be two down. McClennan is out on a nice play there by Berto over to Hudson. And I'll bring up the center fielder, Lucas. Hadley, Lucas. She swings at the first offering. And it's going to go out of play. She'll get second base. And of course, the question is, was she running in foul territory? I'm assuming she was, but when you get to, you can see the... the White, uh, barely see it there, right there. That's where, right there, they're going to be running in foul territory so that the catcher has a view of the first base fielder. So that's a uh, reason for that. Steal in third. And Moak, Emmy, Emmy Moak is the batter. Uh, 
That's about enough. Sounds like it's one and one. Two out. Runner at third. Hit to the left side. Foul ball. Foul ball. Stevens on deck for the Eagles. One and two. Change up is two and two. Seems like it might even be warming up here. That'd be nice. Strike three. Drop third strike. And she's out. So, two runs for the Eagles. It's 4 nothing as we head for the third inning here on viewer-supported local television hometown cable. We went and checked the scoreboard. And my spot is now occupied, so we'll record from here. We're going to record a batter or two. The baseball game is already 12 nothing. It's in the second inning. And... Uh, And they've got a, a run rule, as I recall. So this is Brack. Four nothing, Shazy. There's no run rule in girls softball. I'm 90% sure there is one in the baseball. Ball four. We have a, a walk. A lead off the third. Very Brack. Now Hudson, the first baseman, will step up. The problem with losing my recording spot over there is that the first base coach is now in my way. Uh, Eagles should just forget about that base runner. Forget about her. Not straight on the batters. They got a four nothing lead. Trouble on deck. Foul ball. 2-2 two, two pitch. Hit too short. Not in time. Must have dropped anyway. <clears throat> she turned the wrong way. She didn't make a, a move to... Uh, she may have turned the wrong way, so you got to be paying attention to that and put the tag on her. The umpire says she's safe, he's safe, but uh, if you don't put a tag on, you'll never know. She's supposed to turn toward foul territory. She turns toward fair territory. Even if she doesn't feign a move, she could be could be a cons uh, considered uh, having turned toward second base. But you can overrun first, but you cannot overrun first and make a move toward second. And you're open for a tag. If you make your overrun first and turn to the foul line, then you're all set. You can you won't be tagged out. Well, Schwobel's the batter. Runner at second now. 4 1 the score. This will be our last half inning if we complete it. If we complete this half inning, it'll be our last half inning of this game. At batter. It'll be first and second with nobody out. And now left fielder Chandler is the batter. Tying run is at the plate. We're going to have both runners moving up as the ball goes to the backstop. So, still nobody out. Strike. 
One and two the count now. Even the count, two and two. Ball three. Though it's a full count. First base is open, but nobody out, so. Eagles would rather not see first base occupied. Fouled out of play. Ball four. That's going to load the bases and nobody out. Potential tying run is on board for the, the Griffins. So with Chandler at first, it'll bring up Buck. That was taken for ball one. Two. Uh, that breeze over my shoulder is picking up. Three and oh. Walks a run. Ball four. That'll force in run number two. It'll move the potential tying run to second base. And Coach Garand is going to come out and have a chat. All right. Scoreboard now says 15 nothing and says the first inning here. So we've we're not quite sure what's happening here with the scoreboard. Uh, it's uh, Carlson at the plate. Strike two, I think. 4-2. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Before was Nikki delivers. Strike three. So that's one down. Big strike out there. Whatever Coach Guerin said. Uh, Worked. Now Carlson, the second baseman. George Brenler field over that away. She delivered another pitch while I was looking at the recording booth over there, the press box. Dead ball, that'll be run number three crossing. Hit batter. And here's right fielder Westcott, the top of the order to follow. Seventh batter of the inning. One out, three on, three in. Strike. Out of play, strike two. Okay, the baseball scoreboard now says 16 nothing in the second inning. Shazy is still at bat. In play, back to the pitcher. She's going to go to the plate. They get the out. So two down. Good heads up play. Two down. Uh, top of the order, Cornwright. Strike one. One and one. Tying runs at third base with two outs. Count even at two and two. 
Strike three. So three runs for the Griffins, and that's where we're going to leave this game with Shay Z leading it four to three. We've got to head for the turn around and head for the baseball game because I have a feeling it's only going to go four and a half innings. So we try to cover both be fair as, as we can. We're going to head for the baseball. Thanks for watching and supporting viewer supported local television, hometown cable. If you want to know who won, look in the Press Republican on April 12th and they'll give you the score. Thanks for watching.